In this demo, what I want to cover is the different ways to annotate a PDF document and different annotation tools available for us to complete different workflows like review and approval and others. Okay, let's dive in. Perhaps the most popular PDF annotation tool is ability to annotate different pieces of text. So here, what we can do is uh, annotate the document. We can provide our comments uh, inside of it and reply, hey, could you please change text to, so we can post it. The next person can jump in and actually set the different states available. For example, accepted, rejected, completed, or reply back to the comment. The annotation tools that we have available like highlighting, underline, strike out, and squiggly, sticky comment, uh, free text annotation, are all part of the PDF specification. For example, if I download this document now and open it in other viewer that's um, kind of compliant, for example, like an Adobe Reader for desktop, I will actually be able to see all the annotations that I have made, all the comments, and others. Now, here to get access to specifically to the annotations that I want, I can use the different filtering tools I have available or different sorting algorithms. For example, I want to pick up the different types of the annotations or can I check the status of each annotation? So here I haven't set any of them yet, but I can say, hey, this one is accepted, and we'll put it in the accepted category, and then I just can concentrate on the work ahead of me. The way we handle annotations in PDFtron is all part of the PDF specification. Now, when it comes to saving annotations, you can actually merge them together inside of a document, or you can save them off separately into a database. If you save them separately in database, multiple users can actually synchronize from a single source of truth. Now, when speaking about multiple users, we can actually check out the different annotation permission that WebViewer can allow. Now, this is just an example. And of course, we try to keep it flexible and customizable specifically for your user role organization or group that you can set up your own permissions. So in this scenario, we have Justin who's administrator and they have access to pretty much all the different tools and capabilities. Uh, we have Sally that's a user and Brian that's read-only. So as Justin, I can go ahead and insert, maybe I wanna approve this document and instead of using you know, existing stamps, I can actually create my own stamp and I'll say awesome. And I can remove whether or not a username shows up, date or time, and just go ahead and stamp it on the document. And now Sally can jump in. And as you can see that Sally can't really move my annotations or uh, do them, but she can create her own annotations on top of the document. Uh, so for example, she can place her comments. Let's go ahead and place a comment here and she can comment on it. Or she can actually reply and says, no problem at Justin and post it. And after that's done, we can actually say complete it. Okay, great. Let's say Justin, kind of going back and switching back to Justin, let's say this comment doesn't actually add any specific values. Uh, and even though it's been created by Sally, we can go ahead and remove it. And maybe we have Brian who just wants to get access to the document and see what the deal is, what's happening on the document, and kind of get an overall overview of the conversation happening. Okay, there has been a highlight done by Justin and they can see all the conversation kind of happening on the document, but they can necessarily reply or get access to any different annotation tools. Now, inside of different uh, annotation capabilities, as I mentioned, this is kind of the most uh, commonly used tools. Uh, however, we support different shapes. Uh, so for example, cloudy annotation to really draw someone's attention specifically to the section. And as you can see, as I'm creating it, it can allow me to snap back exactly to complete the cloudy annotation. I can also use arrows and I can insert um, annotation types like callouts. So for example, really draw someone's attention and place the text inside of it. Take a look at this. I can also place signature, which is part of PDF specification. I can draw type or upload my existing signature, place it within the document, stamp images, and also we have support for measurement annotations. Now measurement annotations are coming in more specifically handy 
when working with construction documents, floor plans, and others. So for example here, what I can do actually is to get the exact measurement of the bedroom. But before I do this, let me set the scale. Now I'm going to measure point to point here, and for example I know that this kitchen counter, well it's not in inches, and it's not 2.63, but actually instead it's in, let's say meters, and then maybe this kitchen counter is 3 meters long. So after that, I have my scale set, so the next annotation that I'm going to create to measure the bedroom will provide me with accurate data points. Now, as you can see, that bedroom has kind of more, it's a more complex shape. So here what I can do is I can actually use snapping capability to snap exactly to the place of the document where I want to be and get my measurements. Now this specific bedroom, based on the kitchen counter being 3 meters, is 31.74 square meters.